how are you? Yes, you. The one that's listening right now. Not the one that you think I'm talking about. Just you. Yeah, you. See, it's time you start thinking about you. You're always worrying about everybody else. About your loved ones. About your bills. About what you gotta do. Are you worrying about you? Are you focused on you? And what you need to do? Just wondering. Because once you start thinking about, what do I need? What do I need to do? Who am I? You start digging deeper. Real deep. Who are you? Is the real question. Now, before we go any further, no, I did not bring you here. Your soul brought you here. I did not tell you to push play. You decided to push play. And nor did I tell you to continue to listen. What you're choosing to do is in your hands. Could I have chosen to kept this all inside and only told my family? Yep. But something told me that wasn't enough. That's not who I am. So here I am. One, remember, you agreed to forget why you came here to get the full experience of life, to be able to learn, grow, and guide. Remember that. Two, you choose and chose the path but you have to remember why you chose this path. And it could be and can be the hardest road or hardest roads you've ever faced. And you're telling yourself, wait, why would I choose that for me? Why would I choose a horrible, hard, painful, suffering road full of traumatic events that traumatize my mind? Why would I choose that? To see the power as I back reflect from my memories of who I am. And how sometimes we don't always control our thoughts. Sometimes somebody else tries to sneak their way in like a snake and we allow it because our conscience isn't aware. We're not in the here and the now. We're too busy drifting off in our thoughts. Thinking we don't have control when we do. When I say you choose everything, I mean down to your parents, your family. So when you think you don't belong with your family, you're wrong and you need to recheck your perspective and recheck what you think family is meant to be and what you are meant to be and who you are meant to be and what we really are and who and how we, we are connected and what connects us. Aren't those questions that ever run through your mind? Or are you just too busy worrying about getting money, working a job, paying bills, living a materialistic life? Or is a materialistic life no longer enough for you? And you follow dissatisfaction because you don't want to be a part of it. If that's the case, then your soul is awakening. Your soul is trying to speak to you right here, right now. You will fight with your soul on every journey you take because your subconscious doesn't want to accept change. It can't accept 
something new or different because as soon as it gets handed it, it doesn't know what to do with it. So you have to fight your subconscious and restart your subconscious. During your awakening, you're going to go through self-doubt. You're going to think you are unworthy. You are going to think that you are powerless. You are going to feel suicidal thoughts. You are going to feel low, low vibes. You are not going to want to get out of bed. You would think everything you've done was a waste of time. You will just sit there and go back and back and back and back. Until eventually, you will feel a different vibe come amongst you of peace, of understanding. No matter how painful something was, you're going to find the beauty to it of why it happened. As you awaken more, you will see that it was always meant to be. That some pain that may have caused you could cause another person an awakening down the road. I've had my life literally taken, dread taken. Who knows if I actually died? Maybe I did, and I came back. All I know is no longer do I see those moments fearful and pain. All I know is I see them as a dark force was trying to win, knowing that I am a light. I am an energy force that is here for a reason. To spread this message, to spread this vibration, to raise the frequency, to change lives. And not just my own. Never once in my life have I ever been me, myself, and I. And even when I've tried to just focus on my music, I say, you know, someone needs my help. Or someone leans on me and I do what I feel I can to help them no matter if they did me wrong Our reality isn't what you see it is and people are not what you think they are you put them in the categories and labels and boxes to make more sense of it it's time we break through those boxes it's time we break through those chains that we feel it's time we stop fearing and realize the more you let go, the more you break free. For so long, I've been trying to break the cycle before I felt like it was too late. Since seven years old, facing suicidal thoughts. Thinking I am unworthy. That I didn't love myself. And now, for the first time in my life, I'm remembering who I am. I'm loving myself I'm seeing further 
being in my here and now. Feeling my vibes, my soul, the good vibes. It's amazing how letting go and just trusting in you and knowing who you are and seeing you not just changes your life but the people in your life the reality that surrounds you will change you will think, oh man, I'm doing all this work and I'm changing and I'm bringing all this good vibration and good frequency, but all these people around me are still being negative and still trying to trigger me and we're still trying to bring me back down. Of course. Did you think the battle stops? Don't stop believing in who you are and stop looking for others' perspective when you need your own and the keys and the secrets to the universe and who you are lies within you. You don't need a Bible. You don't need these religions. You don't need somebody telling you you just need to stop focus on where your attentions are what you desire who you feel you are not what you feel has created you or what's made you but look deep, deep, deep and find who, who are you? Doesn't that matter to you? Isn't that what worth fighting for? Isn't finding out and being one with thyself worth more energy and time than thinking you have to be constructed into this society to make it through life because you're worried about a bill being paid or food over your roof? Forgetting what is around you and the tools you have to provide what you need the faith, the belief, the power of believing is what shapes your reality. If you believe you will be safe, you will be fine and actually believe it fear won't enter your soul because fear doesn't exist it's not a part of you it never was supposed to be a part of you it gets what put inside you and you have the power to take it out I've lived in fear my whole entire life. I don't fear the shift. I don't fear what's to come. I don't fear what is happening right now in the society world. I don't even feel connected to it. I feel disconnected. I feel free. I feel like I'm rising. I feel a shift inside me. 
a change inside me. Such a change that even my old habits can't bring it back to the way it was, to the way I was, to who I was. power of energy, the power of vibration, the power of frequency is way more than your mind can fathom, but you do have the power to understand if you are willing to seek, listen, and feel. Watch what you eat. Watch what you watch. Watch what you hear. Because the more poison and toxins you put into your soul, the more harder it's going to be to connect back. The more harder it's going to be to find you. And you matter. You may feel like you don't. You may feel like I'm talking about somebody else. And be looking at somebody in the room with you. Like, oh, yes, this one's for you. They're talking about you. No, no. Just stop thinking that. And realize. It's just for you. Not your friend. Not your mother, not your brother, not your sister, not your cousin, not your aunt. Not anybody you could think of a celebrity. Why do I say you? We are all one. It doesn't matter who watches. If you feel connected, if you feel this change, then you just know. There ain't questions in your head. And when there are just distasteful comments that get dropped, you will see who is full of anger and low vibrations and who is higher vibrating on a higher frequency, on a higher level. You need to be in the here and now, always. What truly matters to you. Not about what's going on around you. Because the more you start focusing on what matters for you, everything will just change around you. I'm not saying it's going to be, boom, you walk out the door, it's so different. The whole new world you see. No. You'll feel it though. The people that come in in your life, you'll feel it. Way more to come. I know I started getting all over the place. So many messages I feel I need to bring. And I'm just going with my soul, with my throat chakra, releasing what I feel I need to release. Stay tuned for more. Stay woke.